Kenny. Hello. Hey, I'm Kenny. Joanne. Nice this is my you. husband, Stacy. Nice to meet you. Nice We're to meet with you the Survivor too. Fans Podcast. Oh, I've listened to some of your interviews. Online. Oh, you have? Yeah. How about that? Okay. You really have? Yeah, of course. Like Randy and the last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. cool. cool. Everyone who's gotten one off so far, I've listened. Excellent. <laughs> so, Kenny, how were you chosen to be on the game? Um, I actually sent in a tape, and, you know, I did the original casting thing. I, uh, I knew that Survivor was going to end soon. I was like, okay, I got to get on the show. It was my favorite show. I, I sent in the tape, and they called me back, and then I got rejected. Like, I went to talk to Lynn Spillman, and then she rejected me, and then three weeks later, they uh, gave me another call and said, you're the only person that we're going to take back, you know, in casting. The only person. And, you know, I did school for a week, and I went to, you know, the whole audition things, and I kicked ass in the interviews, and they loved me. And next thing you know what, I was in uh, Survivor. I was in Survivor Bone. So were you a fan of the show? Yeah, I was a fan of the show since uh, Cook Islands. I uh, I saw Cook Islands and I was like, oh man, this show is this show is really good. You know, I, I like the strategy part of the game and you know the challenges and and then I just got addicted to it. After after Cook Islands, I started watching you know every season after that and I've uh, saw all this like previous seasons that I hadn't seen after Cook that uh, Cook Islands. Does the whole family watch together or is it just you and Jeannie? Um, my, my siblings and I watch um, Survivor together. Like my parents don't watch it, except for the season, of course. But yeah. uh, my siblings and I all watch Survivor. Okay. So, what did you do to prepare yourself? Um, before I even sent in my tape, I had really high hopes, and because there's never been a professional gamer on Survivor before, yeah. And I was the first, and um, I, you know, I started training. I went to the gym every day, lifting weights, running for miles, and you know, I, I ate a lot because I knew that I was going to lose a lot of weight. But you know, I have a high metabolism. I was trying to gain weight before on the show, and I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't even gain weight. Yeah. So, you know, I, I definitely tried. I, I, I practiced making fires at home. I slept outside. So you you did practice with a magnesium fire starter? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Good job. Yeah. I mean, I made I made fire for Fong. You know, I was always making the fire for Fong at camp. And then you know, when it came to that challenge, I don't understand why it, you know it didn't spark right or something like that. And then Susie won that first fire challenge. But yeah. you know, at that time, you know, I didn't I didn't care because I knew that I was still going to be in the game. We had the numbers. So what did you do with the money that you saved from the auction? Oh, when I first got home, that money, oh, I had, like, all the food I can eat. Like, uh -huh. I used that all that money on food. All the like, food. Like, what was your I, favorite? I had, like, pizzas to, like, I ate a crap load of food. Like, I had, like, 80 pieces of sushi. I had, like, three boxes of pizza. <laughs> I, like, I gorged myself in, like, soda. I, like, quit soda before I got on the show, like, like three years. And when I got back, I drank nothing but, like, soda to, like, all the unhealthy, healthiest things ever. Like, I, I was gaining, like... Oh, and the desserts. I ate, I had so much desserts. I was gaining like five pounds per day when I got back. Wow. Well, so how much did you lose total? Um, I was 115 when I got on the show, and then I was around 85 to 90 when I got off. You really went down to 85. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, when I was like getting mic'd up for the challenges and stuff, they were telling, telling me, your waist size is less than Courtney's from Survivor China. You're, you might be the skinniest person on Survivor ever. I was like, oh, man, that's not good. No. That was that was bad. I mean, I was stuck on Fong, and we had no food. Like all we had was rice, and um, we had like one spoon of rice a day. Well, we we all got two, but I gave my extra one to Maddie since he needed more than me. You know, I had one spoon of rice, and that's all we had. And some now, was that a strategic move for you? Um, somewhat, because I wanted us to win challenges, and I knew Maddie was a powerhouse on our side, and if he had more energy, he, you know, he could lead the team more. So, but you, you did pretty good in challenges, too. What was your favorite? Um, definitely the domino one. I love that challenge. I thought that challenge was made for me. You know, I, I was good at balancing, and then once the dominoes came, I used to do dominoes as a kid, you know? Right. And then when I was like, oh, domino challenge, I got this for sure. And, you know, that was my, definitely my favorite challenge. And the fruit tossing one, that was a really good one, too. That was fun. So, who did you vote for and why? In the end, I wanted uh, direct answers from three of them, you know, and I, I, I was unclear of my mind of who to vote for at the end, and um, as long as they answered my question right, then I would have given my vote, you know, because I wanted to know who played the best game and why they played the best game. So, you know, I asked Sugar, she would have told me, like, she was a mastermind, she was playing me since day one, she used me, she got rid of me, and I would be like, damn, you're good, you had my vote. 
And you know, I asked Bob, you know, he kept on saying that he played the game with integrity, but this is Survivor, you know, you have to lie in this game, you know, to get ahead. And I knew, you know, that he was not going to give me the immunity necklace. I just wanted to say that, you know, he was lying to me, he was playing the game, you know, but he kept on saying that, I'm a man of my word, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, just tell me that, you know, you played me or something, but he didn't. So I was like, okay, Susie, please answer right, you know, and she's like, I was like, you know, you know, what, how'd you play the the best game and she was like you know I flipped when I had to flip and you know if she would have stuck with Coda then it would have been bad you know she made the right decisions she flipped, flipped when she had to flip she, she played the game so well that no one had a target on her back you know she survived through the early earlier challenge days and then she made it to the end and everyone wanted to take her to the finals so I thought that was a pretty good strategy and she answered somewhat correctly to what I wanted her to answer so I had to give it to Susie. So did you really think Bob should give you the idol or were you just trying to save yourself by well, making you feel guilty? Well, the thing is, you know, after that whole thing, I, I put I knew the idol was fake when when he showed me and or whatever when during Corinne's vote, I wanted to buy jury votes because Corinne and Bob both promised me they made a deal with me. They say if you put down Maddie, we're gonna give you our jury votes if we're on the jury. And I said deal, you know. So I put down Maddie. I told Chris, uh, Crystal to put down Corinne, and you know, Corinne was gonna go home no matter what, you know. And I, I knew that I could trust Maddie as long as Sugar and Susie, I mean Sugar and Crystal was still on my side, you know, I can use Bob, you know, and you know. I came to the bottom and said, hey, you played me, blah, blah, I was playing him. And then he offered to give me an immunity necklace. He just offered it. And I was like, okay, you're going to offer it to me, I'll take it, you know? And, you know, shit, I took it. And then, um, <laughs> and then he started, you know, and we went to the fake, I mean, we went on the reward together. I kind of knew he was backing down on his deal because he was like, well, what if uh, you ask me for the idol, then I'll give it to you. I'm like, okay, if I ask you for it, you'll, you'll give it to me. And then at Travel Council, he kept on making more things, adding on to the deal. If I think you're in danger, then I'll give it to you. You know, I, I didn't expect him to give it to me at all, you know, either I knew he was a powerhouse and, you know, I wanted to vote him out because no one wanted to take him to the okay. final three. I didn't want to take him to the final three. Cause Good deal. Dangerous. What, what's next for you, Kenny? Um, what's next is uh, I'm going to graduate college, you know, I'm, I guess I'm going to go out dating with, you know, girls and whatnot. Excellent. Good deal. And then, um, you know, I'm... I might go back to the. I've, I've been taking a break from gaming for a while since I just played Survivor, the ultimate yeah, game. There you know, you go. I just, I've just been worried about like life and um, enjoying myself more often. You know, getting out more, and you know, I'm just wherever life takes me. I don't, I don't want to plan ahead. Excellent. Thank Thanks, you, Kenny. Kenny. We appreciate okay. it. Thanks. Good luck to you. Thank you.